morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all you cool home night users out there. To all of you who's tuned in for today's episode, I just like to thank you for taking the time to come and learn and enjoy about cool home. You know how this product has really changed a lot of the designers' uh, uh, process in terms of creating quick, fast, amazing designs using the platform. And in today's episode, uh, I would like to welcome uh, an old colleague who's not come on the show for quite some time. So we've brought her back. And today I'd like to introduce uh, Nana back to the Four Walls episode. Nana, welcome. Hi. How have you been, Nana? Yes, yes, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. We are still uh, in, I guess, uh, COVID 2.0. Yes. So, uh, but you're back in the office, right? Same here, yep. we're back in the office. Yep. So uh, that's good. Let's hope things uh, come around. Mm-hmm. But for today, I know you have something special for us. And let me just share with our clients, basically, uh, what's going to take place in today's episode. All right? Okay. So guys, those of you tuning in, and once again, like I said, I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, We are going to guide you on how to create, or or I would say, in better word, upload a gradient and footed glass panels, all right? So uh, I guess the first image I think which I will get Nana to show you is the gradient glass, all right? So those of you who want to create uh, an image, something like this, all right? Nana's going to give us a step-by-step guide uh, using the advanced side of the uploading feature. And then later, we will see the footed glass. But for now, Nana, let's just focus on the the, uh, how to get the gradient, the gradient effect, I would say, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you can guide us through. And I was, like I said, I will always uh, jump in to stop you or to maybe slow down the process so that our viewers out there can uh, fully understand the step-by-step guides that you are going through with us. All right? Yep. All right, yep. fantastic. All right, guys. Uh, this is Nana. Take it over. Okay. okay. So I will take over from here. Okay. So, okay. for okay. First, we want to upload the gradient class, right? So you have to go to Enterprise Catalog. And All right. Here. Okay. Then product. Go to Texture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Quite similar, the process in terms yep. of uploading any texture, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, correct. Okay, then go to upload texture here. Okay, then just click the gradient, the gradient texture. Okay, so this, already- this gradient oh, texture, yeah. they have to get it first, lah, right? Yep, correct. So uh, all of you out there, you find the... Uh, the I guess the material that would suit your uh, window or doors first in a JPEG format. Once you get that in a JPEG format, the process is pretty similar. You're uploading like how you upload any uh, material into Kuhom, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. So after you have uploaded, then go to new material. Okay, we have old and new. So um, new the one that I up already updated by China. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we go to new. Then we can you can pick glass mirror and here. Okay. Must okay. click must click glass mirror. Glass right? mirror. Yep. Correct. Then go to uh clear glass. Okay. Where was okay. okay. Here's the clear glass. Okay. So 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 here again I saw just now we had frosted as well. So it's the client's mm-hmm. choice lah whether they want it clear or frosted, frosted they can yeah. choose lah. Yes. Right? Okay, Correct. so in this in this case, guys, we're just choosing clear glass just mm-hmm. to give you all uh, an understanding of, of how to create this uh, gradient glass. Lah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then after that, jump to advanced setting. Okay, so under okay. here where we can change the gradient color. Okay. Okay. So this is where the difference is, guys. No, mm-hmm. Normally, we just upload. We don't go into advanced settings. But for this particular upload, this is where in order to achieve this effect, you have to go into the advanced settings uh, during the upload process. All right? Yep. 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 Okay. Then, okay, diffuse map. Okay, just let, let it be, this one, because it's already uploaded the gradient. 
Okay. okay, so click on diffuse lah. Click on yep. diffuse. diffuse. Just make sure that the diffuse map has the ex the exact same material lah. Yes. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Then go to transparency. Okay. So this one you have to change the color because if you don't change the color, the 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 gradient will not effect. The effect will not work. Yes. I see. So you in this transparency, what you're trying to say that clients must go in and choose. Uh, reflection color. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. So just take note, guys. Transparency, reflection color. Choose a color that will give you that effect, lah. Yes. Then you can click preview. See the the changing. Okay. So preview basically. Uh, again, it will take some time in terms of loading a preview, but it's important to I guess uh, get a preview so that you understand the effect that you're going to get, right? Yeah. yeah, so we always encourage our clients to just click on the preview and understand the exact uh, glass effect, a uh, glass gradient effect that you're going to get. So in this yes. case, the, this orange color. Lah. Okay, nice. Yep. Okay. So right now, yeah, you can see the, okay, sorry, the effect. Uh, the effect, yeah, already being applied. Okay. okay. Then confirm. Okay, then uh, just fill in all the requirement. Okay, that's your category. Uh, pick 2D model because we want to apply it on Windows or or something like glass glass door, right? Glass panels, yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Like that. So 3D model material. Just uh, yes. select 3D model material, guys. All right. Okay. Then category. Okay, this one. Uh, let's say if you have the. This is your folders, file, yep. Your folders, yeah. The folder. So those of you who has uh, certain folders, you have already created folders, you can just select your folders accordingly. Lah. Yep. So in this case, I think you're going to put not classified because it's just our demonstration, right? Yes, correct. Yep. Okay. Okay, then just upload texture. So each and every one of you out there, guys, you all know that, you know, how simple uh, it is for Kuhom to just upload materials. Lah. No, it takes less than uh, five uh, I would say 10 seconds to upload a material. Uh, very, very, very fast, right? So uh, the user-friendliness of this platform has always been one of the uh, highlights, right? So as you can see, yeah, the mm -hmm. gradient. Hey, but the color now is different, uh, okay. Nana? Okay, it's okay. So right, right now the color is different, but after mm. we apply, uh, sorry, after we apply on on the window or on the models, then after we render, the color will become the okay, original okay. color that we uploaded. All right, guys. So just take note. I think what Nana is trying to say that at times you don't really get that correct effect of what color you really want, but it is after you render the image, then uh, it, it should give you that, that application that you, that, that you have uploaded. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go into let's a see. design yep. and then, yep, yep. Yeah, so right now we are inside the design tools. Oh, okay. very nice, very nice kitchen that you have yes. done. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so I want to change the door, okay? Correct. So I, I just click on the door, then go to material editor, mm -hmm. okay? So this is a 3D model door lah, that you've yes. taken. Yep. And then you just want to change the material of the glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then let's just select on the glass door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then go to enterprise library. Okay. Select Click on the, the material. Yep. The material that the grading one. Okay. Okay. Just to be clear. Okay. So right now this one, we have two sides. So you have to apply mm. another side behind, behind it. Okay, so this model has two glass, two glass doors, yeah. right? So just ensure that you put it on both sides. And again, the logic here, uh, for those of you who, who don't really understand, right? Whenever there is a glass texture, you know, uh, the glass texture has, has, has two sides of uh, a glass panel, right? So in order to put the material, always ensure that you put on both sides so that you can see the see-through effect. You know, if not, Kuhom will just recognize one side has an effect, but the other side is completely black, right? Yep, and then you yep. won't be able to see through. La. So for our viewers out there, those of you who maybe are not familiar, uh, just take note, whenever you're putting a glass material, always put it on both both sides of the, yes. uh, the model, right? Yep, correct. Okay. Okay, then just click done. Okay, so right now... Uh, that's it, that's yep. it, right? That's it, that's, yep, that's, that's it. I mean, again, I just wanted to share on how uh, easy 
uh, from the uploading process, even if it's an advanced side of things, you have taken, I mean, less than five minutes to just go create and then now upload this material. And I guess this, like we say, we go to rendering now and then mm -hmm. we can see where the magic happens, right? Yeah. How, yeah. Okay, so I just place the, the camera. So on the rendering side, guys, I think most of y'all are familiar already. You know how to find your angles and things like that, right? So we're not going to go through that. Like I said, it is more... Uh, just to see the effect of, of what Nana has done and to see whether we can achieve that gradient outlook for the, uh, this, this glass door, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now I just adjust a bit. Yep. Yep, okay. no worries. I guess, yeah, it's just the effect that we would want to show them. And yep. how quick you have done that, right? Yep. So... Okay, maybe while we're waiting for the renderings to come in, which normally takes about a minute or so, mm -hmm. no problem. Let, let us jump in terms of uh, the next uploading uh, effect that we want to do for this glass material. And I think that's mm -hmm. the footed, footed glass effect. Yes, yes. Yeah, this one, right? Yep, this one. So, I mean, this one, we've got a lot of requests, you know, clients saying that, hey, how do I upload this mm -hmm. uh, kind of a footed effect and things like that. And uh, some say that comb cannot do. Some people have told me that, you know, it is not mm -hmm. possible. But guys, it is possible. Yes. It is just the know-how. You just need to know how to do this. And in today's uh, podcast episode, this is where Nana is going to guide us step by step and show you how simple it is to create a footed glass effect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, normally floated glass we, we use inside kitchen, right? Like correct, correct. Yep, cabinet, cabinet kitchen. Okay, so for that we have to upload under custom product. Okay. Ah yes. yes. Okay. Okay, so like I pause you for a while. So this again, mm -hmm. I need to just uh give our viewers out there an understanding, right? So how important uh this uh, section is lah, right? As we know, we have so many different uploading process, right? So we can go to products. Like earlier, you went into texture. This pure textures where you put in your different textures for uh, changing of the materials. But yep. those of you who are using uh, the kitchen cabinets or custom furniture where you're building your own wardrobes, you're building your own kitchen cabinet within the Coom platform, this uploading process is slightly different. You cannot use the material that you put into texture for your custom products, correct? Correct. Yeah, so for custom products, there is a different uh, way to upload your material and this is what uh, Nana is going to show us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, after that, you go to Kitchen Above. So, All right. Okay. okay, so inside here, go to Material. Material. Okay. Okay, create. then Create, yep. Go to and Material. material. Yes. Yep. So guys, just take note, right? Material, create, and then material again. Mm -hmm. And this is where you upload your material. Okay. Download the filter glass. Okay. okay. Upload, Ag sorry. Yeah. Again, it's a JPEG image, right? It's yes. just a JPEG image. Mm -hmm. This is very, very important, especially if you're taking footed glass, guys. Just need to ensure that that image that you're putting in is clear, it's mm -hmm. straight. Because Kuhom will recognize what you put in. You know, because some people sometimes they put in a, a image which is not straight. And then when they mm -hmm. render, then they, they try to blame Kuhom and say, hey, why Kuhom give me this kind of image? But the, 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 the key factor here is that image. If you get a good quality image, straight, upload it, Kuhom should be able to recognize it. Yep. Right? Okay. Correct. Okay. So, okay, I continue. Yes. Okay. So this is the size. Okay. You can put uh, whatever size that you wanted. Okay. Okay. Uh, then just click confirm. Okay. So under here. Okay. Just go to glass mirror. Sorry. Okay. Material okay. category glass mirror. Yeah. Glass nice. mirror. Okay. Then you can search corrugated glass under here. Corrugated glass, guys. Yes. Just for, so for footed, always use corrugated glass. Uh. Yes. Okay. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay. Then just go. And the Again, advanced, advanced settings. Yep, uh. advanced so click setting. on the, yep, the advanced okay. setting. Yep. Then go to bump. Okay. Okay. This one. We 
we change it to corrugated. Change it to the photo plus, plus image again. Yeah, okay. image. Okay, so in this process, we are uploading this image twice, guys. One in the earlier upload, and then second in the advanced side, you have to educate Kuhome that you are creating a bump scale, yes. right? So okay. it gives that 3D effect. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. okay. Okay, so this one, I just Maybe change to, change to 15. 15 now. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So and like then this. Apply. Okay, then this one you don't need to change. Okay, then click preview. Yep, here so we can click preview, which is helpful, you know, in 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 um in understanding the the effects that it's going to give you. So always take some time to click preview, and like I said, things work very fast with Kuhome. It should give you an understanding, right? So instead of just going and jumping in and finding out that, you know, mm -hmm. that's not exactly what you want, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, okay. okay. Yeah, so, so this is the free preview. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a clear glass, so that's why we can't yes. really tell. Uh. So in this case, once we render, hopefully we should be able to give us a better uh, effect, right? Effect, yep, better. Okay. Okay, click apply. Simple okay. as that. Yep. Yeah, folder, okay, folder. Yep. The same material, material library. Okay, okay. then just create, click create. Okay, so right now we already successfully upload one material. material. Okay, so yeah, so if you can can't see the material is at here, you need to ref just refresh. Refresh. Okay. Yep. yep. Like that. There you go. Yes. Yeah, it's simple. So it doesn't show the image lah, but I think like you said lah, when we go in, uh, after rendering, then then you should be able to see it lah. Yes. So guys, just take note. If you see just the blank uh, uh, image, uh, don't be alarmed, lah, right? Just go mm -hmm. in, uh, place the material now. Like I think what Jasmine, eh, what uh, Nana's going to do, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we go back. Okay, so I just I want to place it at the cabinet. Okay. Okay. So this one you have to go under advanced tool. Okay. Advanced tool. Kitchen yep. and bath. Yep. Okay, there you can just select change a few lah. Yep. Cabinet. Yep. Uh, okay. Just select the cabinet, then go okay. to style. Yep. Okay. So under here, the inner panel. Correct. Okay. Glass. That yeah. the glass. So it's under your enterprise library. This is yes. where uh, the uploaded material will be at, right? Mm -hmm. So here, select each uh, panel and then change accordingly. Uh, uh, either one by one or you can use the brush material and then you can brush it as yes. well, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, if okay, if let's say the brush material, you can go to toolkit, then Correct. yep. Star brush. Yeah. Yeah, then just create and brush. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Okay. Is, yeah. Which again, there's so many different ways. As long as you know how to do it, uh, you can uh, definitely speed up your process. Lah. So in this case, uh Again, the effect can't be seen here, like what we've mentioned, but mm -hmm. uh, let's do some renderings. But guys, just take note, you know, the, the ease of getting a fluted glass done, right? Uploading and the process, you all can see, is really very straightforward. And if you know how to do it, it is really very easy, you know? It's, it's not time consuming. It, it's really saving you time because once you put the glass in one time, right? That's all you need to do. Then that, that footed glass will be in your library forever, right? Yep. You know, you, you can just upload various different uh, glass types inside your um, enterprise library so that your designers will have a field day of using the different types of material. I think this is the power of what Kuhome offers to all our clients out there, you know? And I hope you guys take advantage of all this. If you learn how to do this, it is just going to help you to create amazing and, um, you know, different designs like, for your clients, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can jump back uh, to oh. the, yeah. To the, to the gradient. To the gradient, yeah. Glass. Let's, let's okay. see the effect. Effect, yep. So this is the effect. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, 
yeah, you can see two different colors. Two different tones. Right? Yep. 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 There. Oh yeah. Why why we waiting the corrugated already? Already yeah, finished. Yeah, that's that's the amazing part about yep. look, look at the renderings coming in, guys. It's just you know less than a minute. Mm -hmm. And ah, uh, yep, you can see yes. it. Yep. Mm. Okay. So let's say so if the, this, the yeah. footer is thick, so again, yep. we can change the thickness. Lah. Yes, guys, correct. you all know, yeah, earlier. So this one, I think the effect that uh, Nana has got is a bit on the, on the thicker side, which is fine. I think it's still very nice. I think it still gives me that retro feel. I like it, you know, uh, yeah. but possible can we uh, so this is guys this is standard rendering right this is pure standard rendering so uh, nana will do some high high resolution renderings yes. you know after this and then we'll attach with the with the podcast accordingly towards the tail end and then you guys can uh, guys can see it. No, no no i think this is amazing uh, nana thank you thank okay. you very much you know okay um, you're welcome i mean from your point of view anything else i think we should take note especially like a uh, do's and don'ts. I know I've explained earlier on to, to them, but anything else that uh, we we should take note as, as users, you know, I mean, from your experience, or it's just uh, this is more or less what, what, what you can showcase. Yeah, okay. So this is, uh, so, so far, this is the, the new, the new material for, uh, sorry, the new uh, material for uploading. Mm. So yeah, you can you guys can try and, and arrow for gradient and corrugated glass or maybe frosted also can. Okay, so let's see if your your rendering is not so bright. You can just adjust the brightness um inside the customization rendering. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Something like. That. All right. Okay. No problem. I mean, like I said lah. Basically, from from my point of view as well, it in terms of uh the do's and don'ts, right? Just, just mm -hmm. to take note uh, uh, a few things. One, uh, when you get a material that you want to upload, ensure, like I said, you know, it's a clear uh, clear material. Yes. Right? The, 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 the JPEG image is nice and clean, right? Uh, high resolution would be better, yep. right? And okay. secondly is while uploading, take note of the difference different steps of uploading if you want it in your kitchen and cabinets or your customized wardrobes ensure that you are going through the custom products right yes, and correct. not in texture because whatever mm -hmm. you upload in texture can only be used in terms of 3d models right yes if you're correct. changing a 3d model material and things like that so these are some of the i guess uh things that you all need to take note mm -hmm. when using the co home uh, platform right yep correct all right, so I guess uh, this is it, Nana. Thank you so much for your time and in guiding us with this uh, uh, footed glass and gradient glass effect yeah, for our users okay. out there. Okay, okay, uh, you're welcome, and thank you also for for inviting me to share some new new uh, what we call that. Uh, I guess new new, new idea, yeah, yep. new idea, new idea, and, new and all. Yep. yep. And to those of you who is still tuning in and watching uh, our podcast, uh, I just want to say thank you. I hope it was educational, you know. And uh, for those of you who's watching us for the first time, uh, do click our do click uh, the like button, or or send us a a, a feedback or mm -hmm. anything. You know, if if you have not heard of Cool Home and uh, wanting to try out please, please give us a, a call or send us a message. Uh, you can visit us at our website, Smart Deco, mm -hmm. right? We are both in Malaysia and Singapore and we are here to assist you guys. So please uh, feel free to contact us any time of the day, guys. So I hope uh, once again that all of you all stay safe, uh, enjoy the week and wishing you all uh, again, Past Chinese New Year just passed by. So those of you who celebrated Chinese New Year, Kong Si Fa Chai, and have a wonderful year ahead. So this is me, Daniel, saying goodbye, and Nana over in Malaysia. Thank you yeah. very much. And thank you to you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Take care, guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.